Oh. Quick time event. Oh, sugar. I swear, this game keeps Welcome getting better gentlemen. and better. It's Just Black Sad under the skin. Are in the safe. Now, we got a lovely night of poker ahead of us full of smoking and bourbon. So let's get started. Take a seat, Mr. Farnham. Let me introduce you. Oh, God, is that guy right. again? Great oh, God. Weighing in at 140 pounds, the owner of Pink Vice, the largest meat market in all of Manhattan. In other words, a real son of a bitch. Uh, no offense to the women he exploits. Our reigning champion, Oswald Quince. A title I aim to keep, provided our new contender here doesn't interfere. Hmm. Let's say, um... Let's make him feel... Let's make him feel... Confident. Y'all are dealing with the worst player in Texas. You're just trying to make me overconfident, aren't you? The truth is that I our think low profile is the way to go. The largest and I dare say most entertaining establishment in Texas. Really? So we're colleagues then? Yeah, you wish, Quince. He owns a casino. Damn. And it's Damn. not even in Austin or Dallas. It's actually. In a little town called, uh... Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, what was it? Darn it. I, I looked it up the other day. Had a funny ring to it. I, I hate it when this happens. I oh. thought they moved all Texan casinos to Vegas. Well, gambling is legal. Ah, Ding Dong. I actually remember. You mean Ding Dong, Texas? <laughs> ding Dong. That's it. <laughs> Who'd ever think of a name like that? <laughs> well, casino or no casino, let's just hope he doesn't keep as many aces up his sleeve as the late Ventimiglia, huh? Amen. To my left, wearing brown boxes and weighing in at 396 pounds. How does he know what color his boxes are? Show some respect, huh? The Hospitality Tycoon, Polly... Polly... Polly something or other. Tycoon? I just own a small bar with pool tables. Clients drink close to nothing and play even less, but certain business transactions just couldn't happen anywhere else. Damn it, Paulie. Why don't I know your last name? Because they took it away from me. You have no idea how good my ex-wife's lawyer is. <laughs> Women. They even take our damn names. Ha! 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 Jesus. Uh, let's join in <laughs> really late laughter. <laughs> yeah, too much, Polly. When you're done sightseeing, why don't you drop by La Iguana for a game of pool? And I'll buy you a drink. But I have to warn you, my clientele isn't crazy about fairy fellas such as yourself. Uh, I love pool. Yeah. Thanks. I love me some pool. Perfect. It'll be my pleasure. Let's try not to make enemies around this table. This guy here wants to start a boxing association in Texas. And guess who he's turning to for advice? To be honest, several things got me worried. So I'd be much obliged for any counseling. So, what worries you? Hmm. Rebel coaches is the problem. Rebel coaches like Joe Dunn. Oh, I see you've done your homework. That bastard wouldn't accept the most basic rules. For example, banning boxes Let's from official competition. Squeeze it out of him. Managers don't belong to my association. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm sorry for his death. But if they ever find the murderer, I'd be glad to pay his lawyer fees. Billy Bob, bring out the bourbon. We're drying mm. up here. I'll deal with a fresh deck, of course. We respect traditions in this establishment. Poker is as boring as it is simple. All you need to do is read people's faces. And even the worst detective has that trick up his sleeve. The real oh. issue is knowing what to play for when there's much more than just money at stake. Oh. Hang on a second, guys.
Play to win or play to lose? If we play to win, I guess we piss people off. I think... I think the answer is we play to lose. And then we keep a low profile, nobody cares. Bada bing, bada boom. How does it Damn sound? It. What again? How many games have you won in a row, Quint? <laughs> and here I was hoping that Farnham would steal your championship belt. Congratulations, Farnham. You're bad as hell, but at least you know it. Mark my words, Farnham will be calling his wife before the night is over. Ha! Oh, hey, 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 by the way, did you guys hear about Kenny's wife? Pretty tragic, huh? What happened? Oh, playing bad luck. Hey, but Farnham, I'm, I'm sure you know more about it than I do. Wait, what? Wait, try to remember. I remember now. You gotta try and remember. That's the answer in this, uh... This area of the game. Man, I swear, anyway, this game gets better and better as we play. Thanks for fixing the game with Cassidy. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> the craziest goddamn Texan in New York. And the poor fella's already got enough on his hands now that his wife. Just let him talk. Women just gotta have their vices. There, but she's in a rehab clinic now, hooked on tranquilizers and all that. Oh, hooked on that tranquilizers and all that. Don't tell me don't have their vices too. Bring out the bourbon, Billy Bob. Come on, come on, give me, give me the bourbon. Maybe I spoke too soon when I said that poker is easy for a good detective. <laughs> I was gonna say he's very Even cocky. When you play to lose. It's best to win the occasional hand to avoid suspicion. But with Quince, it was just impossible. Well, I'll be damned! I don't believe this! See what we mean, Farnham? I still don't get why you keep coming for more, boys. I'm starting to think you all lose on purpose. In which case, you're about to have a blast. <laughs> 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 I think this is the first bird we've seen in the game. He's looking to make big bucks in the city with his boxing, and he's gonna lose it all with poker. <laughs> I hope your counseling will make up for it. Mm, yeah, so how can I be of help? Okay. Hmm. Let's ask about. homicidal boxers. Homicidal boxers like Bobby Yale. <laughs> That's some piece of news, huh? Hey, I don't know if he did it, but the real problem is that the fight against my champ Stone might not even freaking happen. The good news is that I've almost convinced the governor to let him out of prison on the day of the fight. Under police escort, that is. I bet you the audience gets a kick out of that. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Athletes hooking up with each other. Those there athletes hooking up with each other. Like Al Stone and Helen Moore. I see you subscribe to What's News. Yeah, my star boxer. The reigning champion. He's having an affair with America's sweetheart. Hey, I got nothing against those two idiots falling in love. Don't get me wrong, but it's taking a toll on his performance. I don't think he'll lose against Yale, but I'm starting to worry a bit. I hope he Come loses on, against Yale. Let's another hand before Quince accuses us of trying to break his winning streak. Ain't gonna happen. Gentlemen, I suggest you never tell your sons about this game. Unless you want to lose their respect. Wait, you mean our sons actually respect us? <laughs> I hear you. There's no way to set boys straight these days. They don't even respond to a good old beating. Hmm. Texan boys do respond good to a good beating. I dare say Texan boys do respond to a good beating. Hey, careful, Quince. You're talking to a pro. So, uh, Kenny told me you had quite a house full. How many kids you got in that house full of yours? Wait, mine? Oh, 
Oh, try to remember. <laughs> No, that son of a bitch was about to choke on his own blood. Oh no, we're doing this again. If I'd been a communist, perhaps the vision of a millionaire choking on his own vomit would have made my day. Although that wasn't oh, the case, God. there I stood, watching him die, incapable of reacting. Oh, sugar. Oh wait, retry. No. That son of a bitch was about to choke on his own vomit. If I'd been a communist, perhaps the vision of a millionaire choking on his own vomit would have made my day. Even so, I doubt I could have just stood there and watched him die. Oh, wait, crap. I didn't break a sweat trying to save him. Oh, crap. I accidentally missed the quick time event. We've killed him twice now. Whoops. Even so, I doubt I could have just stood there and watched him die. Quick! No, heavy boy. Serving or not, the man would live. Oof. He's got a hefty ass. Now, we need to find out about how many kids he has. Hello? Man's wallet sell tells a lot. Ah. Whoa, was that six? Six wanted something. I don't know how you deal with all of them. All oh, boys, does it have to be now? Oh, never let Quince near one of your daughters. Come on, Folly. Children are sacred. I won't get a finger on them until they're 12. After that, well... <laughs> oh, Let's just say... Jesus. Some men have needs that uh, can only be met by a young girl that age. <laughs> If you know what I mean. Are you alright, Farnham? Oh. Uh, let's quickly have a look at... Use our senses. What have we got? What have we got? There goes your winning streak, you uh, sick bastard. Yeah, we're not gonna... We're not gonna... Make a big thing of it. I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Now, what if that lovely 12 year old girl was your sweet little niece, or my cousin Mike's niece? And what if she disappeared a while back? What is what about to happen? Taking to work uptown. In a brothel, huh? Huh? What do you think about uh, that? Uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about, Frank. What the shit is happening? Don't you dare call me Frank. Oh shit. Billy Bob. It's about to go down. It's 500 more. Huh. For washing up. Is a deal. It sounds to me like he had that coming. Sorry for the spectacle, he folks. more than I, deserves uh, that. I had no idea the game would end like this. Please, uh, take my tokens. And that flying scumbag's tokens as well. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some family matters to attend to. If you decide to go ahead with your new venture, call me Farnham. It sounds like we played that right. Your behavior at last night's game was utterly insulting. Never contact me again or I'll put an end to your pathetic life. If our common acquaintance should ask you about your business endeavors, tell him that boxing is too violent for you. Signed, Frank Cassidy. Oh, nicely done. My own tracks would be covered the following morning when Cassidy read this note from Farnham. 
Dear Mr. Cassidy, Though I'm grateful for your kind help, last night's game made me realize that boxing is just too violent for a peaceful Texan like myself. I have decided to invest elsewhere. Yours sincerely, Howard M. Farnham II. Damn Texans. Black said, you smooth operator. Man, that poker game was wild. We having a nightmare or something? Black said is fucking ripped. As for me, it was the first time in days that I had gone to bed without my day. A real shame. Nothing like a bruised body to help you to sleep like a baby. Maybe I should have given myself a beat. Oh man. Is this case worth the money? <laughs> oh man, Black said. That phone ain't gonna answer itself, Black said. Black said. We've got 14 days until the fight. It was like this when I got here. When was that? When did you get here? I've been calling you for over an hour. Calm down. I'll take care of this. Oh, Have you already shit. finished looking through these papers? I wish. Well, I guess you'll enjoy sorting all this again. I'm sure she's thrilled about that idea. Bingo. What is it? Nothing. Just a freshly Bingo. signed contract. What are you doing? Do you like sardines? Excuse me? Do you like sardines? Ugh. The smell of sardines. <laughs> okay. There's Black Sad here taking a good sniff. No, something's gonna be missing. Oh no, maybe not. Hmm. Not that I suspected otherwise, but it's obvious they weren't looking for money. Looks like the burglar isn't interested in bureaucracy. Did they take anything? No. Although. Hmm. Did you get back the gun in the hospital? When you went in the hospital room to get your purse, did you get the gun as well? Yes. Isn't it there? I put it back. I'd rather not go through that again. No, I, be I believe her. That's too bad. It looks like they took it. Interesting. Maybe... They're going to use that gun to frame Sonya. What do you think, guys? Let me know. I think that's everything. Sit back to Sonya and have a chat about what's going to happen. Oh, we got something else. Is this yours? Mm, I think it belongs to the new cleaning lady. Mary just wasn't working out, so she left. Clarice Freeman? Yes. You think she did this? I don't think so. Why would she leave her bag there? I tell you what, let's let's do some deductions because we've got some available. 
The first one is Helen Moore carries a cigarette case belonging to, uh, well, bearing a romantic inscription, and O'Leary keeps pictures of them in his drawer. So I think they're still together, it's maybe. It's pretty clear that Helen Moore's cigarette case was a gift from O'Leary. Definitely looks that way. So we've got a new clue from that. Whoops. Did not mean to look at that. Whoopsie. Now let's get back into those deductions. Because I'm pretty sure there's more. Okay, so Helen Moore says that she hates O'Leary, but... She's bullshitting us. Because they're still in love. If she's still in love, why does she claim she hates him? What is she hiding? And I'm sure there's more. Yet yeah, we even unlocked a new deduction. Oh, I get it. I get it now. Okay, so. Um, where, where is it? Yeah, I totally get it now. So, O'Leary places a $5,000 bet on Yale, and they are in cahoots because O'Leary is threatening Stone with ruining Helen Moore's career. Helen Moore's career. Uh, oh, there's a th there's another part? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. There's four parts to this. Uh, O'Leary, the effect. No, oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Stone is clearly the favorite. O'Leary has a $5,000 bet on Yale. Uh, he's threatening O'Leary. No, O'Leary is threatening Stone with ruining Helen's career. And O'Leary always plays it safe? Oh, wow. I didn't think that was the last bit. That cunning son of a bitch. O'Leary threatened Stone with ruining Moore's career so that he'll take a dive against Yale. There you go, it's coming together. Okay, wow. So I'm starting to get whose motivations are where. And we've still got two more deductions available. Who do those footprints belong to? And O'Leary put his feet up on the table. There it is. Whoop. There no, it is. The footprints don't match. Or if O'Leary killed Dunn. He did it without stepping in the paint, or in different shoes. So O'Leary's soles don't match the footprints in the gym either. That seems kind of far-fetched to me because, you know, people own multiple pairs of shoes, right? So, eh. I think that's the first thing in this game that kind of makes me think, oh, that's a bit of a long shot. I'm going to say... Um, Avenarius vanished after winning a fight back when Yale was a kid. And Yale was one of O'Leary's untouchables according to the files we found in his office. And the fact that he's doing all this manipulation. Oh man, a fourth one again. Uh, God. O'Leary feels guilty about ratting someone out. Maybe O'Leary accidentally caused the death of Yale's father. So now he tries to make up for it by secretly helping advance his career? Oh man, that again, that is a... Uh, that is a bit of a long shot, but it's a theory. He feels guilty, so he's favoring Bobby Yale. Maybe, man, that is... I didn't think that's where it was going to go, but it's definitely a theory now. We've done all the deductions there. Let's go downstairs and see if... Uh, wait, can we go downstairs? Oh, we can't. Okay, we can't go up... Wait, can... We? No, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hmm. Oh, that's the new cleaner. Why is she going upstairs? Oh, there's a... Oh, God. Oh. Wow, that is so small. I didn't even notice that on the screen. How about now? We're going down? No. Wait here, please. So they chased the new cleaner up the stairs. Oh. 
Oh. Quick time event. Oh, sugar. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> you weren't prepared for that when you came into work today, were you? Ooh, that's a gash. Don't worry, it's sure it's just a flesh wound. Oh, crud. They killed her. Poor lady. Hmm. <laughs> that's all Black Sad has to say about this. Hmm. I think she's dead. Could be a knife wound. The murder was brutal. That was more than a knife wound. That looks like it went into her back and down. That was pretty rough. And it looks like there was only one incision. Ooh, wow. Oh no, it's going to be a picture of her family or something, isn't it? Oh, crud. Damn it. I bet she was really nice. Uh, oh, of course it is. God damn it. Oh, you're going to hit us with that. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That type, <laughs> that type of thing in games really, really gets me, you know? Okay. What else we got? I can just picture her saying, Honey, I found a job. We're finally gonna make ends meet. Well, it's one less mouth to feed. <laughs> yes, she seems a lot more upset. She got some strong thighs, I want though. You to call the police, <laughs> Sonia, and then go straight to a friend's house. Don't even think about going home, and definitely don't come back here. I'm I'm staying at a friend's house. I haven't even set foot in my father's place yet. God Good. damn it! Do you have the keys? If the murderer didn't find what he was looking for, that might be his next stop. If he hasn't been there yet. Oh, Black Sad, you're gonna get us in trouble, man. Oh crap! I don't know why we haven't e we didn't meet this character at all, but I feel really bad about it. Oh, here we go. Oh, so once I had the keys to the place. Which meant I wouldn't have to use my lockpicks, or... Okay, I was just about to say, I don't think they've arrived. Because otherwise, they would have broken this lock. I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. He's gonna come up behind me. Oh, I thought I heard footsteps. Whoa, this place is nice. Oh, Sonia. Let's take a look at her place. The life of Harry Barwick. Father of baseball. Okay. She's clearly into her sports and her music. And is that... Is that a sports card? <gasps> she collects sports cards too. It was meant to be. Okay. Let's it's hard to believe this. that a pair of boxing fists could play something like this. Although I'm sure he had the lungs for it. Oh wait, this is not Sonya's place, is it? This is... Oh yeah, this is uh, Joe Dunn's place. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say that this seems very... Very much about sports and music. Sounds more like Joe. Black Fantasy, Little Hand Fetcher. Look Back at that. Records. The guy sure had good taste. He was a man of culture. I say art is for the census. Um. Art, no doubt. I see more art in a boxer's hypnotizing footwork than in certain modern paintings. I I genuinely think it's an art. Oh, play some 
Play some tunes. When you pass Blacks at the Orcs chord, what comes up? Oh, that's a banger. <laughs> I've never heard this song, I don't know. Oh wait, no, I think this came up earlier in the game. Did it? I don't know. Anyway. Nope, we're not walking that way. Oh, what we got in here? Dining room? It looks like Dunn had already begun to move his things. Dunn? Thorpe? Hmm. No idea. And these two? They look familiar. Do they? Should they look familiar? Who's Thorpe? Hang on. Am I being an idiot? Who's Thorpe? Hang on, let me just, let me check real quick. No, I just looked through all the characters. There, there's no, oh wait, no, no, here he is. T Tim Thorpe. Sorry guys, am I, am I being dumb? I can't even, oh, right, right, right. Okay, yeah, yeah, Tim Thorpe. So they were all uh, US Air Force, I'm guessing. Okay, we are going to leave it there guys, because I'm sure that as we continue looking through I just get a feeling something's about to kick off and we're going to leave that for the next episode. I really enjoyed this one. A lot happened and we get deeper and deeper into the story and it's so cool. Thank you so much for joining me and let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like because it helps me out and it helps the channel out a lot as well. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bada bing, bada boom.